السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وستيل ان الحلمية where I used to live I'm still at the age of under 10 at that time and we used to have weekly activities one of which is the Friday football match between two teams one of them called Al Fanagil which are the people who support Al Ahli football club and the second one is Darwish which are the people who support the Malik football club I was the goalkeeper of uh, Al Fanagil uh, team and we used to put these stones in the middle of the road and everybody uh, used to watch girls, men, women uh, the competition between Al Fanagil football uh, team and Al Darwish football team and we used to play with this kind of uh, uh, football made out of socks and putting the sponge inside the socks as I mentioned before to keep uh, wrapping it with thread and to make it like a football and then you dip it into a very sticky uh, material to keep it to glue it together and uh, while we were playing uh, we were playing at the time I was trying to make a show of jumping into the air to fall down but actually they scored the goal against me and they have to act that I'm injured and so on so on so on so this was weekly match where every youngster used to come and watch uh, the competition between the two teams the second one is we thought to get outside of Hilmeya and go to South Cairo in a place called Helwan to see the, the Japanese uh, park in, in Helwan area it's about nearly 20 uh, 20 kilometers from Cairo. This was a big journey and big, big adventure for all of us as young people under the age of 10 to take the, uh, not underground, the, the train from uh, Babel Luq or from the center of Cairo to go to uh, 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 the Japanese uh, uh, garden in Helwan and come back in the evening, tell everybody about our adventure and what we have seen those Japanese statues here, the big and the small ones, and the fat and the skinny one. This is the second activity to do. The third one, I was a member of the scout group, because at that time I had uh, 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 acquired uh, polyomyelitis, and my mother was pushing me to do a lot of uh, sports activity, and with uh, going to uh, the camps of the... Uh, scouts camps with the cups and with the, with the people there as well as to play sports and play uh, uh, football. This is number uh, three activity. Number four activity which was very very important. It was not an activity. It was a kind of uh, uh, the growing uh, uh, values at the back of the mind of the young boy at my age which is dignity and manhood to protect the dignity of uh, the girls who are our neighbors. So we at that time did not allow anybody to come and mess about with any one of our neighbors, especially the girls. And we used to have this fight between this street and this street, or this avenue and this avenue, or this area and this area. If we find a foreigner coming to try to uh, pick up one of our uh, 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 neighbors from from the neighborhood as a young girl, and this was actually used to be a real fight between us and the others. The last, not least, is our daily uh, 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 ration or daily uh, allowance from the family. It was one pence every day, it was one pence every day to take it. Because this pence can buy for you a big piece of bread as much as like this with about 8 to 10 pieces of ta'miya or what you call it falafel and it would be a whole day meal for yourself for salad and for everything and if you are happy and rich enough you might get about 2 pence or 1.5 pence uh, every day these were some of the activities we used to do under the age of 10 in al Hilmiya. I thank you for watching me and please not, uh, activate the notification bell and please share the video with your loved ones. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.